Hello guys and welcome back to the uh, UDK Advanced Series. This is actually the last video of the Advanced Series. I decided to uh, add on an, an additional series on top of like the beginner, advanced, I want to do a master section next which I'm going to be going over the uh, basic Unreal script side. So in this video what I really wanted to do is I wanted to show you how to set up your bare bones for the game, uh, for your game in Unreal Script, it's basically getting a, a game mode that pops up, uh, recompile it and make it come into uh, Unreal Editor. So to start that off, I'm just going to quickly get rid of that. And I am going to go over to my content folder, I mean my UDK folder, and I am going to go to my binaries, no, wait, development, SRC, and then in here I'm going to make a folder for the game that you're going to be working on, or just for testing purposes or whatever. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna name this let's have a think. Uh I'm going to name this let's see test classes. And inside of this I'm going to make another folder called classes and I will show you why in a second. Okay, so let's say I go into my TL and classes there's a few T uh classes for the game that I'm working on or I go into UT game you got my classes that's just the way how general Unreal Script is structured so we really want to follow along with that so let's just go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna make a new document this is just gonna be our basic game mode it won't be anything too complicated at the moment it's just gonna be the very very basic so let me just open this up with notepad plus plus uh, you can use whatever you want, you can use no standard notepad, uh, I'm not sure if you can use word, but let me just close that. But anyway, as you can see here, I've just got the basics, and what I'm doing is just extending off of the UT game type, which is what we're going to be using for testing purposes. So, let's just go ahead and do that. So, let's just type in class, and then I'm going to name it whatever I'm going to name it, which will be, uh, let's have a look, what did I name this? TC default and then extend and then I'm gonna make it extend UT game and then just end off that as I have done here which is very very basic and then I'm just gonna save this as a UC file let's just go down and to see if I can find all types I'm not sure if it supports UC by default let's have a look uh, hmm Okay, all types, and I'm just going to name this TL Default UC, and boom, we should have our UC file just pop up here again. Uh, default, I kind of spelled that wrong there. So here we go, save, and then if I just go ahead and go into my front end, I can just recompile my scripts. Uh, I'm, I'll probably, I'll most likely get a few errors. Actually, I forgot something, a big thing. I forgot to go back, I forgot to uh, do something, so just go back to your UDK, go to UDK game, content, uh, yeah, no, sorry, config, and then go to your default engine. This is basically the INI file where you tell the game to go to a certain place. Well, just basically read uh, certain classes. So over here you can see that I've got plus mod edit packages for both HGI and time loss, the ones that I'm working on. So I'm going to be adding in a the folder for uh, basically this test game mode. So rather than linking the actual game mode, I'm going to do the folder that it is sat in. And if I and if I'm right, I believe I dumped it in a folder named test classes. Here we go plus edit packages equals test classes make sure you get that right with capitals or well lowercase or capitalized etc let's, let's go ahead and save that and then do a full recompile I'm not going to bother going over the difference between a full recompile and a just standard compile script it's not really necessarily necessary right now so let's just drop that 
Uh, sorry if it may take a long time to do a f full recompile. Uh, my computer is not working at full specs at the moment. Let's see. What have we got here? TL default TC. There we go. That's what I've done. I have gone and named it wrong. Let's go rename TC default. Just make sure you double check that so you got the name right with the actual document itself and not a complete and utter tard like I am. And let's just go ahead and do another compile scripts. Here we go. That was successful. And if I go ahead and just open up the Unreal Editor, we should have our custom game mode in. Uh, and we can pretty much end off the video with the satisfaction of creating our very own game mode, regardless of how minimalistic it is right now, but it's still something. And let's see if I can find this, TC default. There we go, I can select that on both those options. I can go in, and you will notice that it is extended off of... Uh, UT game just like we told it. So in the master series I'm going to be covering the basics of Unreal Script, not in so much detail, but I'm going to show you the basics of setting up a HUD because that's a lot more Unreal Script side than uh, than an actual menu is itself. So it's that. I'm going to be covering that. Game mode, uh, probably custom weapons, uh, player controllers and stuff like that. So when I first start off, I will go ahead and well, I'll go with proper camera systems in Unreal Script, and I'll just build together, uh, build a third-person camera, and basically guide you for the process so you can make whatever you want with Unreal Script. So thanks for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.